Hello and welcome back. Jump your back is Ben's your ear. And I'm back on ready to play two or three games. I did a test stream yesterday. Seemed to have gone well and I'm really excited to get back into it. As usual, just trying to make sure everything sounds okay. And then we'll go ahead and jump in. From what I can see it or hear, it does seem like the audio is not loud enough. So I'm going to see if I can turn it up. Oh, okay, it was just restarting. That's good. Make sure it doesn't spike. I guess that's my main issue. I just want to make sure it doesn't end up spiking too badly. Um, you know what? I'm gonna bring it up like two or three or four percent. I think we're good. Okie dokie. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get my get my headphones back on, and we can go ahead and get this started in here. So, welcome back. This is my first time playing Slay the Spire. Really excited, and it's it's interesting because when I first started seeing stuff about Slay the Spire, I was kind of shocked about how people were so enamored with it. And I've, I was like, I have i don't think I've ever really played card games and why are they so obsessed and why do people watch it and listen to it? And even with my favorite YouTuber, I couldn't really understand what was, what was going on. But I thought about it and actually it turns out that I I have played um card games and I have been drawn to them and it was just when I looked at it in that light and actually paid attention to what was going on I was like card games are actually really really good so that's really exciting so we're gonna start with this then we're going to move on to Lonely Mountains Downhill. I don't want to play just one game, so we're going to have three games, one per hour. And the third one is going to be Stream Ride. At this rate, I, I can't see my session time, so it probably won't really go off of that. But if I end up being enthralled by one of these, then I might end up playing it longer. So my wife came in, she dropped off some fresh coffee for me, very kind of her. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a sip of that in a few minutes. Let's go ahead and jump in. So we got Standard, Embark on a Quest to Slay the Spire. We got Daily Climb, which I can't do. And then play a difficult a Daily Climb to unlock a custom game mode. Okay, okay, whoa! That's one thing I do have to say, that this art style is really, really cool. Trying to get this a little adjusted. There we go. So, this is the Ironclad. The remaining soldier of the Ironclads sold his soul to harness demonic energies. Burning blood at the end of combat heals 6 HP. Very useful. The other two were locked. Alrighty. So, there's 5 unlocks remaining. 0 or out of 300 to next unlock. Okay, makes sense. Set seed. So, if I press left trigger. No, I'm not going to worry about that. <laughs> oh yeah, so if you have a C, then you can sort of share that with other people. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get started. I've been talking a lot just because I've been excited to try and play the game. I just got one thing to do and then we can jump in. Exordium Act 1. Very exciting. There we go. Hope today finds you well. I actually had a fantastic day. Got a lot done around the house. Did a lot of cleaning. Felt really good. And I'm like, you know what? I still feel pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, stream for stream today, and then tomorrow I'll get back to work and worry about it then. So as legend, we have unknown merchant, which is like a bag with a less than symbol with line through it. Then we have treasure, treasure chest, rest, and then enemy, and then an elite. So I guess elites will be before the the boss at the end. I ended up playing an Android game that was actually pretty similar to this one. So, I, I have at least that going for me. 
So let's go ahead. Uh, okay, so let's... Oh, I like that big diamond at the end. So this one gives me a few options. Hmm, and that the one on the right is just pretty direct. You know what? I want to hit the two question marks, so we're going to start here. The defeat enemies by playing cards from your hand. Cards require energy to play once you are out and your turn. At the start of your turn, new cards are drawn and your energy is replenished. Alrighty. Play defensive cards to gain block when enemies are about to attack you. Block reduces incoming attack damage, but wears off at the start of your turn. Okay, so that already adds uh, a layer of difficulty because you you want to stack a bunch of block, but then you can't because it wears off. During your turn, you can also observe an enemy's intent above them. If an enemy is intent on attacking you, be sure to gain some block. Alright, that makes sense. I'm ready. So part of the reason why I wanted to play this is like I want to start start slow but also it's just i've really been getting excited with some of these card games so i'm like this that's why i really want to try it i said it before i'll say it again because it's it's so cool so all right trying to bring up one thing on here okie dokie so I, I can strike six damage i can defend for six block I can bash, deal 8 damage, and it applies to vulnerable. And then we have 6 damage, then strategic. The little fire. This enemy intends to use a buff. Alright, makes sense. So I only have 3 points to... If they're just going to use a buff and not attack, I think what I'll do is deal 8 damage and apply 2 vulnerable to the cultist. And because they're vulnerable, I'll go ahead and... Oh yeah, that first one was two, so I did as much damage as I can. So I'll end the turn. So let's see what they're going to do. Okay, you know what? I looked away and I didn't even see what they did. They do plan on attacking me. Okay, there we go, there we go. Aggressive. This enemy intends to do six damage. We got vulnerable. Receive 50% more damage. Okay, that's... What I caused him, Ritual, at the end of its turn, gain 3 strength, so they'll get stronger each time. So they're going to attack me. They have 33 life, so I do need to defend. 5-5-5. Five, five, five. That is, if they're going to attack for 6, is it worth taking 1 damage? I want to say yes. So we're going to strike twice, end the turn, and hope that we can go ahead and defeat them. On the next turn. Okay, it says no more cards. If there are no cards to draw, your discard pile is shuffled into the draw pile. Oh, so I have a very small deck right now. Makes it easier to have a small deck, honestly. So we're going to go ahead and make them vulnerable. And then this strike should finish them. My powers were mad! That's very funny. It's, just, it's like a, a bird. It's not quite an ostrich, but a bird that can't fly. So we got 19 gold. I can add a card to my deck. So what do we have? Perfected Strike. Deals 6 damage. Deals 2 additional damage for all your cards containing Strike. Really cool. Shrug it off. 8 block plus 1 card. My only issue with getting another card is you only have 3 points of energy so unless you have another point left and if the one you draw is two then you still can't use it flex zero points to use or energy gain two strength at the end of this turn lose two strength wow oh uh, i'm glad that it gave me the option i i wanted to do this but it's two points to do it. So it's almost like using two cards. Whereas with this one, I could possibly use four cards. With three points of energy, I really I need to make the most of, of what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, proceed. 
uh, to the next one. So I have a question mark, and it is... You fall into a puddle. It's made of slime goop. Frantically, you claw yourself over out over several minutes as you feel the goop starting to burn. You can feel goop in your ears, goop in your nose, goop everywhere. Climbing out, you notice that some of your gold is missing. Look back to the puddle. You see your missing coins combined with gold from unfortunate adventures mixed together in the puzzle. So you can either gather and get a ton of gold and lose a little bit of HP or lose 20. Uh, let's get the 75. Feeling the sting of the goop as the prolonged exposure starts to melt away at your skin, you fin manage to fish out the gold. Pretty good. So I can do, I have a question mark, or I can fight. I'm sure that fighting would actually allow me to get new cards. Let's go ahead and see some of the question marks, see what all that entails. <laughs> Wheel of Change. Wheel of Change. Turn, turn, turn. You come up on a dapper looking cheery gremlin. That's from Animaniacs. Wheel of Morality, I think it usually is. It's time to spin the wheel. Are you ready? Of course you are. Play. So why to spin? I should have maybe looked to see what they looked like. Gold, I can always accept that. You win some gold, yay. Uh, 32 gold. Did it say how much? I don't think. I haven't been really paying attention to how much gold. So let's go to the next question mark. And we see. So they're already kind of buffed. Okie dokie. So that's kind of like hardened for Metapod. And they do look kind of like really colorful Caterpies. More like Caterpillars. So it says aggressive. They're going to do six. On receiving attack damage, rolls up again. Rolls up and gains three block. Wow, 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 wow. So they each do that? No. This enemy intends to use a buff and, cr and they're going to do 7, so I probably need to do as much damage as I can. So it's like one attacking, one not. Let's do flex. Let's deal 8 damage to this one. Almost dead. Yeah, my main thing is that if that other one's not going to attack, then it doesn't really matter. I do need to remember, though, if I don't need to use a block, there's no point in, in using the card. Because sometimes like it might actually be something good. So we'll go ahead and use two points to apply vulnerable. And we'll do the strike. Very simple. Wow, they're actually still alive. I should have blocked. Okie dokie. I, I hope I've learned my lesson. Mm, yeah, there's really no point in doing like a ton of damage, but I've learned my lesson. The intent to, to attack, focus on blocking. Uh, 20 damage with fire potion. Drink or throw potions during combat. Potions stay with you between rooms. Got it. Add a card to your deck. At the end of your turn... Lose 1 HP and deal 5 damage. Ooh, I love that. Uh, I like stuff like that, that you take damage, but then you can attack all. 12 damage for 2 points. Decent. Deal 9 damage. Put a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. That might be good later on, but I think at this point, being able to damage multiple enemies... Since my cards aren't really that strong yet, I don't have too much energy. I think we'll go a really, really long way. Alrighty, so we actually have another battle. Okay, so it's like a fish with legs. But you ain't got no legs, so I uh, block. So they intend to attack. So I will... Attack twice, and then this is my only defend. 11. I didn't see what the defend is, but I'll take like 3 or 4 damage. Oh, why? 6 damage? Jeez Louise. Alrighty, so we already have Combust, and we have a bunch of de the <laughs> defends. So I'm going to do Combust, but 
I'm just gonna defend. I don't want to take any more needless damage. They still take damage, and that's why I really wanted that card. I will be taking damage, but it'll just make sure that that sort of stacks. So we have Bash for two points. Okay, so we'll do it like this. We'll flex. We'll bash and apply vulnerable. I have one more point. Eight. No, it wouldn't be enough. So I will defend and move on. Let's see what happens next. Okay. I, I think I've taken a little bit too much damage too early. But it'll be okay. So we got three strikes. Six, 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 six. Okay, so that should be enough to defeat it. Pretty good, pretty good. Already enjoying myself. Attack Potion. Choose one of three random attack cards to add to your hand. It costs zero this turn. That's really good. Add a card. So shrug it off again. Deal damage, deal damage and get a card. That might actually be decent. Deal six damage. Add a copy of this card into your discard pile. Deal 6 damage at a... Oh, oh, so when it comes back. I like that. Yeah. It's funny you can skip, so if you don't like anything, you don't have to do it. Uh, let's go ahead. I guess this will give you life back. Heal for 30% of your max HP or upgrade a card. I want to upgrade a card. Uh, God, Bash is so good. What happens if I upgraded it? Extra damage and extra vulnerable. Okay, I like that. Anger, more damage. Combust, which I already like. More damage after each turn. Flex. Wow, for zero? As much as I like... See, what's good with Bash... Is that it applies vulnerable, but for z for zero, I I have to go ahead and, and do this one. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so I have three options. I have an elite, an enemy, or a question mark. I'm. Let's go with a question mark. Like I, said, I really shouldn't be battling too, too much. Especially that I've lost, what, 17 life? Or a Calcum? <laughs> if you end your turn without block, gain 6 block. Block until next turn prevents damage. Okay, decent. Relics found throughout the, the Spire grant unique bonuses and remain throughout your run. They can be found by defeating powerful... Oh, okay, so it's just in that run already. I thought it's like it's a roguelike, so I'm wondering if other than the gold, what else might actually stay. So let's proceed, and I have to fight. Let's see what happens. So we got this uh, multi-eyed blob, like little marbles rolling around in its head. It wants to do 16 damage. Deal six damage at a copy. I mean, again for zero. Beautiful. I think it's like I have to defend regardless. Let's go ahead and do combust and let's go ahead and do some damage. And I think we're I'll probably get down to maybe 50. Oh man, I didn't think I'd get to 50 after one hit. So they plan on hitting me again. They look dizzy, strategic. This enemy intends to inflict a negative effect on you and attack. Bad. Acid slime might poison me. Split. When its HP is at or below 50%, we'll split into two smaller slimes with Acid Slime L's current HP. That's bad. Okay. <laughs> so Flex gain 4 strength. Obviously I need to do this, but... 12... 22... Man, it's like to take the brunt of that is is not worth it. As much as I really want to... Oh, but it's also going to split. If it splits... Let's see that I need to check. 
Because it plans to attack. So will it split first or will it attack first? I think it might attack first. So I'm going to go ahead and defend it and my turn. I, I really can't chance it. Okay, so I know for the future. It, it did split first. So I could have done a ton more damage and they would be at a lot lower. <laughs> a lot lower life and they w both wouldn't be attacking me. It's like the worst, worst of everything. Um, do I want to defend for 10 total? Which means I'll take 7 damage and then do a normal strike? Or do I want to deal... Yeah. I'm going to block. I'm going to do a normal strike on the first one. And we'll go from there. That kind of poopy, but it'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah, so exhaust. Let's take a look at that. Do I have to look at myself? I'm not sure. Oh, and they still took damage because I damaged myself. That's really, that helps so much. I need to remember having used combust because by doing that, between turns, they, they might actually end up dying. Okie dokie, so I, I still don't have enough, I don't think. 6, 18 damage will kill the first one, but then I'll still take 10 damage. Awful. Perfect, that'll be actually just enough to kill the first one. Pretty good. Okay, that's not, not too shabby. I'm at less than 50%, so there's no telling how far I'll actually get. Left trigger does what? Cards are drawn from here at the start of each turn. Cards are shown by sorted ra rarity. So I guess it just lets me know what's going on. Okay. There, there's no bad bad thing about using the zero. Definitely. And basically I can still use all my cards because of that. They may actually die between turns. Oof. I really thought they were. I thought they were going to take more damage because of... Oh no, never mind. That doesn't that doesn't make sense. All right, so basically, they're dead. No matter no matter at the end of the day, they're dead. Doesn't matter what I do. So we've got clothesline, deal twelve damage, apply two weak for two points. True grit, gain seven block, exhaust a random card in your hand. I don't know how I feel about that one. War cry. I like the titles of some of these, and the, the art is really cool, like Clothesline, with the little explosion in the back, and the war cry with him yelling, I like that. So draw one card, put a card from your hand on top of your draw pile, and then you exhaust it. I honestly rather at this point have an, another block card and not worry about what all, what all that about what all that was. Bag of preparation. H. At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. That I like a ton. That's going to be really good. So elites or take it easy. I'm hoping by fighting the elite, I'll get something good. Oh my goodness. Okie dokie. So we have futuristic enemies with one wanting to attack this one wants to do a negative effect on me that's that's really bad deal six damage to they have the most life and they're the one planning on attacking so i might as well gain seven block do i want to just block a ton or do i want to try and deal a bunch of damage Okay, oh, and I still have to exhaust a card, which is all right. I, I need to block anyway. Mm, if I add more block, I won't take any damage. If I strike, and he'll go down. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of damage because 
I probably need to block when there's two trying to attack me. Okay, so they're they're putting like joke cards in there that I wouldn't be able to use. So we have 18 damage coming at me and I cannot defend. Horrible, horrible. Uh, at the end of the I say like I probably should do that. This is zero. I need to go ahead and do it. Man, do I want to try and just take it out? We're going to have to do the long con. Mm, do I want to take 18 damage? Or do I want to block? I need to block some of that damage, unfortunately. And we'll keep on working on that one and the turn. It's so close to death. I think the way I did it was worth it. Um, getting all these horrible cards, very afraid. RB. These cards were exhausted from. Oh, so it just lets you loot. Uh, look, okay. So that one's almost dead. I have unplayable cards. So all I can really do is strike. So the one that was attacking is dead. Really good. This one has. It's like, it's hard to know, should I attack the one that has more life so they don't have as much life or try to get rid of one? I probably should try to just get rid of one. <laughs> Thinking about it now. I think that might be for the best. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So many days. Okay, so it's 18 damage coming my way. If I bash, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And if it happens, vulnerable creatures take 50% more damage. So they take 9, 17. Oh, between turns, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. They take, it'd be just enough. So I, I do think in this case... Oh, no. I did that wrong. I actually thought I had another. Why didn't they take as much damage as I thought? I mucked that one up. 18 damage is really, really bad. I might not survive. Uh, let's deal... Tw oh my goodness. Deal 20 damage. Choose... Yeah, I, I don't have a potion. Yeah, we're in a tough, tough spot. If they're not attacking this turn. You know what? There's no point in attacking that one if he's going to take 5 damage anyway. So let's go ahead and do what we can against this one. I uh, should have flexed for sure. Um, there's really no point in even using any of these if they aren't going to do damage. Yeah, I messed it up a little bit, but with this one being... On the cusp of death. He has 5 damage coming to him for sure. So basically whatever I do is enough. What? What does he have 1? That's completely okay. I mean. He has to take that damage in between. See now I'm in a tough spot. Go Tori. Tori? <laughs> Whenever you, <laughs> you would receive 5 or less unblocked attack damage. Reduce it to 1. What? Whenever you receive 5 or less on blood, That's really good, okay. Skill potion. Choose one of three random skill cards to add to your hand. Okay. Uh, add a card to your deck. More anger. At the end of your turn, gain 3 block. What is even the point of that one? Deal damage equal to your block. See, that is... I like that. Like you start... That's an incentive to start stacking block, basically. You find a shimmering mass of light encompassing the center of the room. Its warm glow and enchanting patterns invite you. Up, oh, so I can upgrade two random cards and die, or I can leave. You walk around it wondering what could have been, yeah. And you're just gonna give me some money. Oh, oh, I can buy something. Oh, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. 
This thunderclap is as for sale, which is good. Deal four damage and apply. Heck yes, thank you. Bloodletting lose three HP so you can gain gold. Not bad. Add two wounds into your hand. I guess that's something I don't have. Gain fifteen block. Wow. Chance of mutation. Add X random colorless cards into your hand. They cost zero this turn. Deal three damage. Oh, it's 98. I probably should wait until they're on sale. This is this is by itself nine damage. What is this? Whenever you enter a a rest site, start the next combat with two. You know what? I, I don't know what that actually is. Start each combat with 10 block. That's pretty good. I think I have enough for that. 50 membership card, 50% discount on all products. Done. <laughs> uh fear potion. Alrighty, so in that case. Gain two strength for one. deal three damage draw one card is like not only is it zero if I end up buffing it that's gonna be really really good uh, I do not want to spend all of my all of my gold because I don't know what all I'll find in the future so I can get 30% back or upgrade a card unfortunately I have to I have to go ahead and get a little bit of life back. I'd rather not, but it doesn't matter if I can do more damage if I don't have enough life to be able to take it. Wow. Oh, this is really sad and scary. So you've got dead rats being controlled by mushrooms. Okie dokie. So this blocks five. No, let's start here. Deal three damage for zero. He's attacking. I really need to make sure they're dead. Deal four damage and apply what I should have used. Oh no, I was at zero. I, I want to use this one. Deal four damage. Oh, okay. So it does damage and vulnerable to all of them. That's actually pretty incredible. Oh yeah, I should have used flex first. Dang. Okay, I I have to pay attention to to some of these because I need to stack damage before I start dealing it. Um, ten damage is really good, and I have one more. Yeah, totally worth it. That way I don't take any damage except. Yeah, I don't take any damage, and then they don't attack me until now. So they're going to do extra damage because they're buffed. Spore Cloud. On death applies to vulnerable, so that's probably what I have. Wow, yeah, so if they attack me, they're going to do a ton of damage. Ton of damage. Increases attack damage by 3, so that's pretty horrible too. Deal damage equal to your block. I don't think... 5... So I would do 5 damage. True Grit is what? 7 block, 5 block. Yeah, at that rate, I really need to be doing that. Oh no, I didn't. The last thing I thought was that I was going to take my other defense. <laughs> so at this rate, I could do 7 plus 6. Which is 13 damage, or I can do 8, so... Okay. So I'm gonna take a little bit of... Yeah, not horrible. Not too bad. So this should be more than enough to get him dead. At this point, I, I want to use the zero, but it's kind of like, there, there's no point really if they're going to die. Speed Potion, gain 5 Dexterity. At the end of your turn, lose... Dexterity improves block gain from cards. Ooh, I like that. Add a card to your deck. Disarm. Enemy loses 2 Strength. 
pretty good. Burning Pact. Exhaust one card, so you can never use it again, so you can draw two. With some of these, you don't actually have to use them, and that might help at some point. But again, if I have one energy left, I use that one. Oh, but I could try and get a zero card. Yeah, that's actually pretty good, but I think I'm going to go with this arm. Oh, I, uh, what, 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 what? Tip, you can discard potions to make room for others. Um, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Don't forget your rewards. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I want to skip the potion. I'm like, what is going on? Why won't let me go to the next one? More life or get stronger? Heal 30% of your bank. So 24. Uh, that's 49. 59 plus 4. 63. It's pretty good, yeah. Especially if it's going to be a boss. It would be really cool to have all the life I can get before fighting him. Or her. Whoa, that is cool. I like how these look. So it's like a person, a skeleton, looking down with golden arms and legs. Very scary. So let's actually look at all our cards before we actually do anything. Deal four damage and apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Enemies, great. Enemy loses two strength for one turn. Oh no, in general. Pretty good. Damage equal to my block. I don't even have any block. Except for this one. Yeah. Gain seven block. Exhaust a random card in your hand. Six damage, six damage. Gain four strength. And then this one. Okay, so let's start there. Let's gain four strength. Then with this. Oh, they would have taken... Regardless, let's go ahead and start with this. Mm, I can do 20 damage, or I could actually make them weaker and do 10 damage. They're not attacking me this turn, but for the future, that would be really good. To make sure, like, that they're not doing that much damage i thought i was taking damage for a second they're charging up destroy 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 third what the heck intends to attack for 30 mode shift after receiving seven damage changes to defensive mode oh okay i know that for the future strength decrease attack by two Alrighty. <laughs> deal three damage let's look six damage Continuous, and but I'll take more damage all the time. Block or strike. I probably need to draw a card. So it's more strike. I was actually hoping for a, d a defend. So we have to defend. Go ahead and do that. I'm going to have to be doing continuous damage at this rate. So we'll go ahead and do that extra damage. That's all we can do. Try and stack a little bit of damage and hope for the best. Oh, 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 oh. So because I attacked it, it got into defensive mode, which does. Decreases attack damage by two. Still has that. Awesome. Sharp hide. Whenever you play an attack, take three damage. I wonder if it's saying that that's for me. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Should I just block? You know what? I'm going to block a little bit, but I want to apply vulnerable and I took three damage. Now, now I see that that's, that is the case. So I want to block the rest of the damage. Nah. Oh, okay. I, I didn't, I didn't see that. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see what's next. I took a little bit of damage, not horrible. So they're going to do extra damage this time. <laughs> this enemy intends to use a buff and attack for 6 damage 2 times. 
I, I really need to get as many cars as I can. This is basically what I need at this point. Is to really... Oh, I'm taking damage each time. It's alright. At this point, I'm just gonna... Do as much damage as I can. And hope I don't regret it. Okay, so the sharp hide has worn off. Oh, so I maybe should have been defending before, but that's okay. So they're planning on doing 12... Trying to do 12, but it's decreased by 2 each time, I'm hoping. So I hope it's 2, 2, and 2, which is 6. Yeah, so I'll probably want to do that. Okay, so I don't... <laughs> I don't want to use True Grit until, like, the last thing. Exhaust the car so I can never get it back. 10 more damage or block. I, I really need to block. I think I've been doing a little bit too much damage to myself. Oh, I blocked a lot. Awesome. Oh, yeah, because they were doing less damage. I'm glad for that. Alrighty, so what do they plan on this? They intend to block on their turn, so I need to do as much damage as I can right now. Alrighty. Okay, so they automatically blocked. I guess I'm not gonna defend. Maybe I, I... Yeah, the block I don't think stops that one bit of damage from... From happening. I don't think it does. Not 100% sure. Wait just a second. Ooh, okay. So if I do... Put a lot of block, I'll end up doing a lot of damage, but each time I take, I do damage, I take damage. So probably I should only block and then use body slam. But the only thing that sucks is that if I use this and body slam gets exhausted, then I'll never get to use it again. So let's, let's just defend. <clears throat> Is it worth taking damage when they're in this state? Whenever you play an attack, I take three. It's it's really it's really not worth it. I might actually exhaust and hope that it's not body slam. Beautiful. Twelve damage would be pretty good. And I would take three. Okay. I wish I had some kind of healing thing. Fire potion, attack. Choose one of three random skill. Yeah, okay, I'll just end the turn. That's all right. Uh, I pressed Y. Okay, they're just kind of slow. <laughs> all righty. Very good, very good. So they plan on attacking six times, but they do two less each time. So I actually wouldn't take any damage. Unless, I, of course, when I'm attacking, then I get really messed up. With that said, I really need to be attacking. It takes zero. And then I can block. I probably didn't need to block, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to chance it. Wow, it came out and did extra damage. Alrighty. 46 life. Deal 3 damage and uh, draw 1 card. It's currently vulnerable. Add Deal 4 damage and apply 1 vulnerable, which is really good. Let, let's go ahead and make an informed decision. We're taking an extra card. Okay. Even more vulnerable. I have two more points to use. Man, do I want to just eat whatever damage he does? And then... Because he's, he's going to do 2, 4, 6 damage at worst. Yeah, I, I think it's worth doing it like this. I'm hoping not to go below 14. 
even better than I thought. Beautiful. Alrighty. They have 13 life. Body slam, it depends on block. Okay. Uh, oh, right. I, for some reason, for a second, I thought it was getting exhausted. Awesome. So I got to the first boss of the first act on my first try. Feels good, man. I guess there's multiple acts because it's given me another card. I'm pretty sure these cards... It only gives me cards because I'll keep on moving. I want to do each one for an hour, but if I can't pause it, I might just go until I die in this case. So we have Berserk. Gain two vulnerable. <laughs> that would be bad. At the end of your turn... Oh, energy. Energy is used... Oh, 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 oh. So for zero, I will take more damage, but then I'll have more energy for which to do stuff. Could come in handy if I use it. This turn, your next attack is played twice. Love it. Double tap. Shot twice in the stomach. Painful. It almost looks like a mask, like two eyes. Impervious. Gain 30 block and exhaust. I really, really like berserk and double tap but to get 30 block is pretty insane so i get a treasure and i choose a relic coffee <laughs> coffee dripper gain energy at the start of your turn you can no longer rest a red side rest size that's horrible empty cage upon pickup remove two cards from your deck kind of bad Black Star. Elite drops an additional relic when defeated. But the relics are as horrible as these other ones. <sighs> I think I'm going to do Black Star. They like, have no effect now and hope that the, re the relics in the future aren't so horrible. So I can... Act 2 is the city. So I can go to a merchant, or I can just get the question mark. I think I'm going to start on this side because I can go to the merchant, still get a question mark, go to another merchant, and then fight something. I'm hoping that this, this is, god the art is so cool, characters look really neat. It almost looks like a dessert. Gosh, I, I can't remind me what, I can't remember exactly what it reminds me of, but it's like the outside is a little hard, almost like chalky in texture, but it tastes sweet. So defensive, they're going to defend when they, on their turn, ba oop, barricade. Block is not removed at the start of its turn, which is pretty bad. And then art, its artifact it negates three debuffs. So I, I need to realize, like, with the vulnerable, it doesn't even matter as much. Flex will definitely go a long way. Enemy loses two strength, but it and then exhausts it. There's no reason for me to block or disarm. I probably need to do as much damage as I can. So I'll still use this one. Okay, that makes sense. So it only has... I needed to use flex. Dang. Uh, I'll still do it. Um, I, I happen to have another attack card. So that's good. Enemy loses 2 strength and exhaust. It. My main thing is like if I'm going to cause status effects. I need to make an informed decision. I. You know what? I could just look at my deck. Can't I? That's okay. Enemy turn. <coughs> They're blo- Oh my gosh. 51. Wow, they are a tank. If I hadn't messed it up, they'd already be taking more damage. They only have 20 life, but still. Again, informed decision. Let's go ahead and do the damage and get another card. I probably will need to defend. Let's, let's do the two defense to start with so I won't take any damage. 
do I want to start whittling it down? Yes, I need to start whittling it down. I don't know. Oh, yeah, so it doesn't do it every turn. So it's like, oh, it's going to start attacking, so I really do need to whittle it down. 10 times 2, very bad. Oh, he, they debuffed me. It gained 25% less block from cards for 5 turns. Horrible. But 10 times 2, I probably do need to defend. Before I decide not to, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh... I, I love Combust, and I do need to whittle it down as much as I can. And then I can go ahead and do that end my turn. Down to 25. Could be worse. Yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy. I didn't know it would take me back to full life. I think that's, that's pretty neat. Enemy loses 2 strength, so it wouldn't do anything. Gain... Do I have any block cards? Damage, strength, damage. Gain 22 block. For 2 points. Do I want to tank that damage? I almost want to tank the tank the or do damage to try and just get get it dead to kill it. So I'll go ahead and do this. Um and this will still do more. I, I probably did this in the wrong order. Okay, so we'll see what happens. So it's already taking damage. I'll have to just eat the 10. Oh, okay. Why did I take one? Oh, okay. I, I guess I forgot something I'm, I, I did. <sighs> do I want to block or keep doing damage? They have 15. I wonder why it was like that. So if I do three of these, let's let's see again. Do I want to take any more damage? I really don't want to take that much more damage. It sort of works because of anger that I can still do quite a bit of damage, but it sucks to take any damage from them. 59 to what, 50? 42, geez louise. Flash of Steel, deal 3 damage. So at this point, it doesn't have any, it's not blocking at all. We're going to start here. I probably can defeat it on the first one. So that's good. It has 1 life. So what I'm going to do is... So it does 6 damage. It doesn't seem like it's blocking, but I'm actually going to go, oh, that was really silly. <laughs> very silly, but at the very least, I am blocking and I do damage between turns, so it might not even matter. Good, good. Beautiful. 12 gold <laughs> and add. Gosh, this is really fun. It, it's like, it's slow, but to me, it's, it's really interesting, like trying to figure out the best order to do things. I like that a lot. Armaments. Gain 5 block, upgrade a card in your hand for... Wow, for 1 point. Lose 3 HP, but I get more energy, which is cool. Clash. Can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack. Deal 14. Situational, but 0 energy to use it. It's kind of like a win-win situation. Either I can't use it, or I can use it and do extra damage. So that's pretty good. I was supposed to go the other way. Why would it be on the right side to start? I'm, I'm not quite sure. So everything should be on sale still. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by 6. First cards are negative cards to stay in your deck. Okay. Whenever you add a power card into your deck, upgrade it. Yes? How could I not? Attack potion. Discard any number of cards, then draw that many. That is actually really good. 
But I don't want any of that liquid, more liquid stuff. Draw three cards, but then you exhaust it. Not bad, actually. Add one random colorless card into your hand. For zero is not bad. Deal five damage twice for 14 gold. It's wouldn't make sense to not do it. So I do have 50% off right now. So it is worth getting as many as I can. Like The only thing I'm not sure of is like... Can I buy cards outside of combat? I'm not sure. Gain three strength for one point. Gain two energy and then exhaust. I like that. Apply three weak and vulnerable to all enemies. That might stack well, but for two points, I'm not too sure about it. If my minimum were four, Energy, that would be good. Oh, but planning for the future. Yeah, we'll see. Worst case, I don't use it. Deal 9 damage, put a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. Oh, am I that low on gold? Okay, okay, so I spent a lot. More than I expected. So, I should... Golly, why is it always on the right side? So we have this person that looks like they have feathers and wings... Interesting. 6 damage, 7 block, 30 block. Oh, and I need to remember with the block card, it only lasts for one turn. Gain 2 energy and exhaust. Apply 3 weak and vulnerable to all enemies and exhaust. 5 block. See, with this one, I'd had 5. Use this one, goes back down to 3. Oh, but then it's almost not worth it. That is not what I expected. <sighs> Am I actually going to just block? I guess so. At this, at this point, I might as well just block and do some damage. Very interesting. It's funny it would work out like that. It's like RNG really has a, a deep effect on what's going on. Player turn. Gain 4 strength and then lose it. Deal 6 damage. Can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack. So I could use 2 defense and then... But I'd be defending for, for no reason. That That's my only issue with that. Okay, so... The one to flex... Solely to do more damage. Probably, yeah. So I want to defend just so I can do more damage. I I, I do, actually. Yeah. I, I think in the long run, there's going to be a better, a better idea. Suffer. I got hexed. Okay, what is my hex? Whenever you play a non-attack card... Shuffle one dazed card into your draw pile. That's it's not horrible. Not too shabby. Enemy loses two strength. Pretty good, but it, it's going to end up adding stuff to my deck. Deal three damage. So I guess, does it count as a non-attack card? Because, oh no, it says it's attack. We'll start there. I probably should be attacking a ton. Enemy loses 2 strength in general. Man, or should I really... I don't really want to use it, but I don't want to take needless damage. I have 2 points left. I can bash for 8, or I can do 4 and a little bit. So minimum would be 10 between those 2. So I'll do that. And that's the end of my turn. Let's, read, let's see what happens next. Hmm. The vulnerable has worn off, which makes sense. So I already have a dazed. This is zero when I attack. Da -da. I, I guess I can use actually use everything in my hand. That's actually not too bad, and they're going to take five more. 
But I can. Oh, I didn't. I didn't have any block cards. So I'm gonna take so much damage. Wow. Twin strike. Deal five damage twice. And I don't have anything to block. See, that is very bad. Okay, let's start with Bash. Oh, but it's two points. Oh, yeah, so I'll be okay. So I can do that. Oh, wow. So that went a little bit better than I thought, but I took so much damage. Gambler's Brew, discard any number. I, I don't like that. We'll add a card. Deal 12 damage, apply 2 weak. Very good, but it's 2 points. Uppercut. Deal 13 damage, 1 weak, 1 vulnerable. Weak. Weakened creatures deal 25% less. I'm going to take this one because it's... Oh, wait, wait. This one does the same. No, this one's actually better in every way. It's 2 weak... So that means they'll do 50% less. I'd rather across the board be able to do more damage and also be able to take more. So excited to see what this story ends up being. Uh, give me a second. What is this? <laughs> it's kind of funny because it's like I have my wi-fi on and for some reason it's saying that i'm not receiving wi-fi but then it says how fast it is navigating an endless street wow this dude's a vampire you come across several hooded figures in the midst of some dark ritual as you approach they turn to you in an eerie unison the tallest among them bears fang teeth and extends a long pale hand towards you join us brother and feel the warmth of the spire all right it says accept remove all strikes receive five bites <laughs> okay so five bite cards deal seven damage and heal two i lose 24 max hp heck no no why why would anyone do that <laughs> For some free cards? Heck no. Must be crazy. Okay, so we had the bird people swinging around some weird sticks. Cultists. They intend to buff. Alrighty then. They have actually a lot of life. I'm a little scared. You know what? My wife brought me the coffee. <laughs> Forgot about it. Let's drink some. Even better. She brought me hot chocolate. Delicious. See, this already paying dividends. I'm playing three weak and vulnerable to all enemies. But the issue is they're not actually attacking. <laughs> so that's, that's very not good. No use in blocking. Let's go ahead. Attack, attack. Yeah. Just get them as low on life as we can. Incantation. So cultists do rituals. I thought they were birds, but they're actually people with really creepy masks. This enemy intends to do 6 damage. At the end of its turn, it gains 3 strength. So the longer they're there, the more damage they'll do. I was trying to see if I use this first, then this will deal extra damage. Worth it, you know. So the card is a defense card, which is good. If I have them do l less damage, that will be pretty good. So I can either b defend or use combust. I think it might be worth it to defend, unfortunately. As much as I want to try and do damage, they're going to do at least like 12 overall. Okay. 
Oh, wow. And they're going to attack back to back. I'm probably not going to survive this. Gain two energy. I'll probably need it. I So this is very bad. I have no... <laughs> I have no defense cards right now, so I'm going to go ahead and add strength. I'm going to... Do I need to add the energy? Oh, I can already do that. I actually... There's no point in doing that if I have enough points as it is. Oh, okay. I'm... I'm I want to... Oh, I, I'm like, why can't I just choose one? But it does it across the board, which is really good. I'll do 10 damage to this one. Beautiful. I should, I should have done 4 instead. I wasted actually some of the points. But at the very least now, I'll have a little... Mm. Oh yeah, because I did that status effect thing. I won't survive the next one. Gain 30 block for 2 points. What is this? Oh, but they'll do less damage. Mm. You know what? I just need to survive this turn. This is... I can't use that anyway. Anger. Might as well. So I can't use this. I just... I have so much block already. That there's no point in even putting more block. So that means when it gets back to me, I'm at zero. Okay. It's, I wanted to make sure that that was the case. So they have to die. <laughs> they have to die. Apply three weak and vulnerable to all enemies and exhaust. So this is exactly why I wanted that card. Gain 2 energy and exhaust. I need to do as much as I can on this one. Oh, but it cost 1. Budge. <laughs> so I can do 12 damage or make them vulnerable. Uh, I, I guess I'm going to do 12 damage. I don't think I'm going to survive this turn. I finally died. Defeated. I feel like I did really well for it to be my, my first run. Uh, so it says floor, floors climbed 110. Oh, 22. Enemies slain 7. A sword of elites killed 1. Oh, so your score is what goes through your unlocks. So it actually works out to get those unlocks to fight enemies. Makes sense. City elites killed, so I, I didn't do any, and I did one boss. Okay, that makes sense. Unlocked a really, really cool looking character with like a squiggly dagger and a, like a goat's skull. I don't, I don't know really what that would be. I don't. Uh, maybe that's not a goat. Alrighty, that was all so so cool.